My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, when we pray, we pray for God's will to be done. As in, in heaven, on earth, <laughs> boy, flipping already. In, on earth as it is in heaven. Which is a great request, but also points out to all of us that things aren't going on earth the way God wants them to. That there's problems in this world, and all you have to do is turn on a TV or the radio and listen to the news a bit, and you find a whole plethora of problems, you know, the economy's still bad, you know, what, what have you. And even on those news channels, they'll tell you who's responsible and what the magic solution is. And it's the opposite, depending on which channels you decide to listen to or watch. But all of them are wrong. Every single talking head on the radio or TV is wrong. Because there's nobody in elected office right now, and there's no candidate running for anything that's going to solve it all. None of them have the power to save the world from the mess that's in it. There is someone who does it, though. I don't need to give you very many guesses, I'm guessing. It's Jesus. Jesus came into the world not because he was going to whip everybody's butt and tell them what to do, not because he wanted to put us all in our place and scold us and give us a time out. Because he loved it. God came into the world out of love. And in reaction to that love, some of us recoil. <laughs> because we don't think we're that bad or need to be saved from anything or we like the way things are going. And that's what John's talking about when he says some are already condemned. Those who will say, yeah, that's nice, I'm going to keep doing this. <laughs> because I'm used to this, it's comfortable, I like it, <laughs> or at least I've learned to deal with it. As it turns out, all of us <coughs> are part of that condemned. <coughs> the whole world goes for its way other than God's will all the time. Each day, God lovingly calls to us. Each moment of our lives and at each turn of a corner, we're called again to a life that's in the light, a life that lives in God's love right now and then forever and ever and ever. It looks like all sorts of things. It can be kindness to someone who's sick or mourning. It can be working to get pitchforks for folks in Senegal. It can be sharing some of your food. It can be simple hellos and kind words to people on the street. But that's where the light is. That's where the light of the world shines through, is when we choose not to throw missiles of insults or blame on other people. But when we all come together in love to care for the world. Because these words that Jesus spoke in our gospel today aren't a weapon. They're not something to say like, yep, we're the saved ones and you condemned people are in big trouble. <laughs> Rather, <laughs> Rather, it's a call for us to love the world like God does. To love that world even when we don't think maybe it's worthy. To care for our neighbor even when we don't think we can get something out of it to better our place in life. <laughs> to live in the light. To live out of love. For you are so dearly loved that God loves you indiscriminately and without reason that comes from you. God loves you because you are and calls us to love the world 